It's 2022 and I've got the Alice camera version two in my hands and today I'm gonna to tell you more about it. Happy New Year to the Alice camera community and welcome to 2022. What I'd like to do in this video is give you an update on what's been happening over here at the Alice camera. I haven't actually done a video for a while, it's just been super busy over here, but there's lots to talk about. And today I'm gonna to talk about our Indiegogo campaign, which we did last year, some changes that we made to the Alice camera following the campaign. I'll talk about some demos of our AI and computational photography technology that we showed in 2021. And I'll also talk about a combined 500K pre-seed fundraise that we just completed. Uh, and talk about a bit of press that, 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 that we got towards the end of the year. If you're interested in learning about any of that, then please stick around. Uh, the Alice camera was voted by TechRadar as one of the most exciting cameras for 2022. More exciting than the Leica M11 and the Panasonic GH6. Uh, if you wanna stay up to date on the developments of the Alice camera, then please uh, subscribe below. Finally, we've uh, got a growing community of people on our Facebook group. Uh, please join the conversation. The link is in the description. Right, we launched our first pre-order campaign in early 2021. And we were really happy with this campaign because it first put us onto the scene. Uh, and we're really proud of the Alice Camera community that has developed since. We now have a total of 25,000 people across social media. Thanks for all the people that are supporting us and following us. And this really goes to show that there's a lot of people out there interested in applying computational photography to professional optics. Following the campaign, many of our backers provided excellent feedback on some of the changes we could make to the camera. But making changes is always a balancing act because drastic changes increases complexity. Uh, and we're also going through a global semiconductor shortage at the moment with supply chain issues. Uh, but there were a series of subtle and important changes uh, we made for version two of the Alice camera. Firstly, we improved the ergonomics of the camera and the handle is about 5% bigger uh, in size. We've also added a subtle thumb rest on the back and repositioned the shutter button, uh, all of which make the camera more comfortable to hold. We've made the phone mount more robust and the lens release mechanism is working nicely. We've also tested two different colorways. The original Alice is a gunmetal gray in color, but now we have a black and silver versions. Uh, we'd like to find a way to give you guys uh, the option to choose which color you want, but we haven't quite figured out the logistics behind this, so please bear with us. Uh, in the meantime, you can drop your thoughts in the comment section below and let us know what you think. The core electronics have been redesigned around a new Qualcomm Snapdragon chip. The chip has an octa-core CPU and a GPU, video encoder, a dedicated AI processor that will work alongside the Google Edge TPU, a Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth module all in one package. This single chip has replaced seven components from the original design, which is quite remarkable actually. Uh, and going with the Snapdragon chip will significantly simplify our supply chain, allowing us to deliver an even better camera with better specs more reliably. Because of the version two changes and because of the chip shortage and other supply chain issues, the retail price of Alice will go up to $1,499 in 2022. However, we are offering a special New Year discount for our second batch, which we just launched. Uh, you have to be quick, but if you put down a $10 holding payment, then we will guarantee you 50% off. This offer is only valid to the end of January and is subject to availability. So please, please put your name down to get on the list. Uh, and from April 2022, the price of Alice will go up to $1,499 US dollars retail. The development of our AI has been going really well. And in July, we released demos of our AI autofocus algorithm. Our algorithm uses deep learning to understand what to focus on and how to focus on it. And then it will communicate with the lens to tell it how much to move the motors to get the subject in focus. We also released a demo of our AI color enhancement algorithm. Think of this like applying presets or LUTs Instead of doing that in post, with Alice, you can do that on device in real time, drastically speeding up your workflow. Footage from the sensor is transformed locally by color and tone maps to pull out the shadows and increase dynamic range. To see the algorithm in action, let's take a look at a few sample photos we shared in November. We compared photos taken straight out of camera by three different cameras. The first photo is shot with Alice. This sample photo, which has been processed with our AI color enhancement algorithm, 
reflects the quality of footage that you can expect to get straight out of camera once you receive your Alice camera. There will be a slider on the app giving you complete control over how much of this effect you want to apply to your footage. The second photo here is taken on an iPhone 12 Pro. And the third photo is taken by a Panasonic Lumix G80, another micro four thirds camera, both at similar focal lengths, apertures and ISO speeds. Sample video footage will be coming soon too. We've also begun exploring some novel single shot and multi shot denoising features based on AI, which will help us with better low light performance. We're also considering the development of a super resolution algorithm, which will increase the resolution of the images uh, and will be much more appealing to photographers. However, this is a difficult task and will take some time to complete. Uh, both of these features are in alpha at the moment, but follow our conversations in computational photography series to stay up to date on our feature development. Finally, the first build of the mobile app was completed and is looking really good at the moment. All the basic controls are in place and the user interface is much more friendly than the buttons on the back of a camera. It's also possible to really quickly view and share your content to people. There's a few more things we need to iron out for production, but I'm really happy with how it's developing at the moment. In December, we announced that we raised a combined $500,000 pre-seed investment after pitching at the London Demo Day 2021 and Debut Sessions competitions. $400,000 came from Ascension, an early stage venture capitalist specializing in next-gen media, alongside several amazing angel investors. In addition to the private funding, we won $100,000 in AWS cloud computing credits, which will help us scale our on-camera AI and computational photography pipeline. The fundraise will turbocharge uh, our go-to-market and will accelerate the development of our technology. We've already collected over 5 million images from open datasets to train our AI models, and now we're building our own proprietary database to further train and enhance our novel AI pipeline for professional imaging. Our end-to-end -end computational photography pipeline is our unique selling point compared to other professional cameras on the market today. TechRadar wrote an article about us only a few days ago, rating Alice as one of the most exciting cameras in 2022, more exciting than the Leica M11 and the Panasonic GH6, because of the technology we're trying to bring to the table. If you haven't seen the article, please find it in the link in the description. We couldn't have done any of this without the support of our customers and investors who continue to believe in our vision and the entire Alice camera team of software engineers, AI engineers, electronic engineers, who are helping to develop a breakthrough product by solving complex, previously unsolved problems in the camera space. We're really looking forward to delivering Alice to you in 2022, and we wish you all the best for the rest of the year. Thank you.